Well, the BJP's internal strife over ticket allocation is boiling over. Actor turned politician Kiran Kher landed in Chandigarh along with her husband Anupam Kher to kickstart her election campaign. But the BJP's debutant's arrival has met with black flags. Ironically, the protests were from her own party. On your screens now are members of the BJP who are disgruntled with the party as to why it chose to field Kiran Kher from Chandigarh. Kher immediately sought to dispel notions that she's an outsider parachuting in days before the elections. Manaman Singh China is now joining us with more details. Manaman, is there any likelihood of Kiran Kher connecting with the seniors of the party so that she may get the required support from the local cadre there? Manaman, I'll have to interrupt you for a bit. We have with us uh, the Chandigarh candidate of BJP, Kiran Kher. Ma'am, uh, are you likely to speak with seniors in your party for the support that you require from the local party workers in Chandigarh since they are not too happy with your candidature? No, Mahat, I don't think that's true because I've had a rousing reception at the, uh, at the airport and there were so many, the cadre was there, the, all the padadhikaris were there and they were all in the office and we couldn't stand, there was something and cheering. So there are some people who are upset and it's only natural when they feel that, you know, they wanted some leader of theirs to get the ticket. But they're all our cadre kartas and we will... Uh, we will work around it and I'm sure they'll come around because uh, give them a little time to vent and then it's okay. They will they will be with us. I'm sure about it. Kiran Kher, but you were shown black flags today by your own party members and it's a small constituency territorially. Do you not think just ahead of elections, very few days left, it could damage your chances? No, I don't think so at all. I found it so exciting when you enter uh, the fray and suddenly you have so much love. And then you have some black flags. It was so dramatic. I, it urges me to work harder. And all those people, who there were hardly any people showing black flags. There were many more people. Many more people. We couldn't stand. There was pushing and um, garlands. And I can't tell you what the reception was like. And all the people who are upset might be some of these people. How do we know who are the people with the black flags? They could be somebody from Congress also. Could be anybody. But uh, the people who work with us and who are our karikartas, I am sure I'll, if I if I am going to choose me, if my income is high, then I will do the whole thing. I will reach out to them, and I don't need to involve the high command in this. I know people very well. I've been living here. I've been. I know them by name. All these people, so I don't think there will be a problem. Ma'am, are you going to be talking to those opposed to you? Because some of them hold a grudge against you, and they believe that you're an outsider who's never really worked with the Chandigarh unit. That's not true. When they had the council election uh, two, three years ago, I was here for 17 days and I did 85 sabhas for each and every person. I know every district as the back of my hand. And I have lived in Chandigarh. I have been, I've studied here. I've done my college, my university. I've played badminton for India from Chandigarh, for the Punjab University, for the, for Punjab State. So I don't think I'm an outsider at all. I think it's a man me galat family hai and my house is here when I declare my assets, it'll be very clear that you know actually I work in Bombay but my home is Chandigarh and I've always said so. So I don't think I think we need to get them to to uh, get over that. Some of them feel ki if the once she is on uh, she, this is a film star who will go away. I don't look at myself like that and my never my political speeches have anything about films. It is, it is just to do, it is political and it is social and it's relevant to the people of Chandigarh that they get a representative who actually works because the roads are in a mess, there are no amenities in the colonies and for somebody who has been here, Mr. Bansal has been a minister in the centre. They have a government there, they have a council here, they should have addressed these issues okay. long ago.
but they haven't and that's heartbreaking mm-hmm. for me when i see chandigarh getting suffocated like this or when i see that the garbage disposal problems are there okay. the villages have no amenities i know this i'm so familiar with it All right. i worked at ground level mm-hmm. so this is a fallacy being spread and um, i'm sure everything will be okay in a day or two Kiran Kher main thanks for speaking with headlines today Kiran Kher they're speaking on the dissent in the party over ticket distribution saying that she's confident she'll be able to win over the party workers who at the moment seem unhappy with the fact that she's got a ticket from Chandigarh